guys hi i hope you're doing well today i'm gonna have my chai and biscuit here mm, amazing okay today i saw cillian murphy and margot robbie's interview and if we were having tea this afternoon together i would have spoken on the same okay <clears throat> so grab your favorite drink and let's have some chit chat on it so as you guys know this year barbenheimer released together uh, in july as i mentioned at the beginning of the video mm-hmm. and barbie was the blockbuster oppenheimer was the blockbuster and barbie was mega blockbuster and the director greta gerwig was the first female director whose movie did so well she is a very renowned director and this two movies at the theaters was something nothing less than was something but it was nothing less than a festive season like an a uh, a serious occasion to go at the theaters to and watch these two movies when they got released at the theaters so the actors on the actors uh, which is hosted by variety where you know actors chit chat have a conversation with each other on all of that and it ask them about the process this question or just fan go <laughs> over their previous work and all of that and learn in the process from each other and we as an audience also enjoy it so you know today as i woke up was having my morning cup of tea the interview was just posted 10 hours ago when i saw it in the afternoon uh, when i saw it in the morning and i found it so good where of course margot was chatting a lot shilin murphy was quiet and uh, was asked you know answering it in a very short and sweet way maga jobby was you know uh, very elaborating elabor- has a very he had a very very, uh, <laughs> very elaborate approach what i liked about maga jobby as she said was that she was she was trying to she was trying to dabble into the character of babi okay but the barbie character is so without a flaw like it's truly really without a flaw it doesn't have any flaw so she was not able to put down some core memories which triggered her journey right now or anything she can work with any humiliation she faced or anything or some jealousy and we or anything uh, so she just couldn't grab a hold of to play the character of babi and uh, and the way she works is you know with the dialect code and all of that but the way she gets in the character the groundwork she does or uh, the homework she does the it 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 was not something she was able to grab all grab although she felt like it would be easier because it's just babi so she went to the director which is greta gerwig and while she was discussing like i'm not able to grab a hold of babi to play her and it's a bit it's bit a uh, it's bit difficult greta gerwig pointed her to a podcast uh, so i also heard it i also listened to it which is called as this american life life and uh, one episode where the producers dian and sullivan get together to speak about how dian doesn't introspect anything and how she she, she when she is so when she is reading something and she just realizes and the thought comes to my into her mind that some bacteria eats the flesh of a kid and she dies and you know parents are going to die one we are going to die and she just gets panicked and her boyfriend asks her that what did didn't you ever introspected on that situation or you know that fact and she was like no never and she is someone who who is a stanford graduate but the way we 
the way for example we enter into a grocery store and when we are like tuning in with different people we are saying that okay this child might be in second standard or you know we are having this monologue going inside our head but this character i mean this person uh dn the the podcast is all about the podcast episode which is what lies beneath so she is not someone who introspects or she is not someone who puts thought into it she just lives in a moment and she's like yeah this is okay and you know okay i'll just go grab it oh these are oranges these are oranges that i'll just grab it and that is it done so she focuses on what is right in front of us now like it's like oh this is camera okay i'm just speaking into it but you know in the monologue is like what i'm going to do after shooting this video and what i'm going to do okay how my evening looks like you know somewhere in a background it's going on like okay i need to wrap this video and all of that right but she, but her mind is something who is like a babi who is not holding any grudges who is not introspecting on the doom gloom or you know what is going to happen after one minute or two. so nothing is like that okay it's not it's not uh holding on to the reality and the inevitable of life and all of that but it's living in the moment it's not introspecting so so greta gerwig gave her this podcast episode as a reference where she found it margot found it very helpful to nail down the character of barbie okay which she was a bit dif- uh, you know she was a bit disheartened that she was not able to you know hold on to it grasp it with her her own techniques she uses throughout the movies so that was a great bit she also spoke about the movies they used to see while they were you know preparing and all of that like a movie choice they used to call is like in the reference of barbie whatever of chimes in with the word barbie or the idea of barbie they used to watch that movie okay and uh, and that is also something i'm gonna watch like whatever whatever name she you know uh, told of the movies they watched it's it's going to be a ride great movies are released you know not that often and i love to get to know how they got into it through this interviews and all of that so it was good to see Oh, and Cillian Murphy, while he was shooting Oppenheimer, he shot that scene in the play where exactly Oppenheimer used to live, like in the place. Okay, few of those shots are shot there, right there. So that was interesting to know. They were talking about the dress code of the directors. okay like we have seen lots of um directors artists or ceos of the company for them that matter wear same colored co- clothes have sort of similar uh, texture of clothing architecture of it like okay one piece goes here and there and that's it uh, one can have lots of black t-shirts okay but whenever one sees them it's all black all the time for example steve jobs not too many clothes um and all of that so they were speaking about the same fact where greta gerwig and christopher nolan has this thing where they wear similar sort of a jacket or a coat when they get back on the field which is where wherever they are shooting on the sets and that's really important thing like you know director has uh, as margot pointed like they have so many decisions to make in a day they just can't think about okay what i'm going to wear on set that day you know and that thought really stuck with me because you know if you have a dress code and if you have that you know that mm, capsule wardrobe going on at least to explore if you want to but you know a structured clothing it just cuts away the noise and it just uh sim- it just brings simplicity and i like that a lot where 
our attention is going towards the most important things to make different decisions and not something oh, we are investing our time into what should one way and when they were talking about ki if christopher wore something which is very fancy and hawaiian on the on the set kril silian was like oh god i i won't be able to concentrate on the work so i like the professionalism they induce with this uh, behavior or th- this attitude of theirs so i like that really like when i was going to school and all of that college university i used to love wearing uniforms like it literally cuts that zone where you have to think what you want to wear so i like it i like that thought process of these directors it's really good to know and yeah hmm and there was such an amazing cast you know when when greta gerwig started writing with it with noah she just literally knew which character is going to played by who so that is really cool cool shit so i loved watching that interview and that has been on my mind throughout today and that's why i'm making this chit chat video and sharing with you guys yeah